This rapper ruined his life without even knowing, because now no one in the industry ever wants to be associated with him. He raps about gang wars, the millions in his bank account, and digging graves for people who mess with him. I'm a grave digger and a slave. He calls himself Spot'em Got'em, and a short while ago, this guy was a hot cake. His songs were topping the charts, and he was rocking the biggest chains and grills. And he was linking up with big names like Lil Durk and DaBaby. Set out to spot him, we got him. His stacks of money were all over Instagram, and people were digging his lifestyle. But all of that suddenly changed when Spot'em did something that made all his fans turn against him. Spot'em and his friend Mookie were arrested for several charges, including possession of a firearm that belonged to a convicted felon. But only Spot'em was released almost immediately with Bond, and things were just not adding up. This made everyone start asking a lot of questions. And it didn't take long until people began to suspect that he snitched on his friend to get out. And of course, no one likes a rat. So many rappers began to cut ties with him. His fans stopped streaming his music. And things were not going well for Spot'em, because not only did the public now hate him, Spot'em had lots of targets on his back. And because of that, he always walked around with his firearms for protection. But one day, things almost went south for him. You see, Spot'em was cruising around a highway with his friend in his car when someone fired shots at them. In total, the police recorded 22 bullets were fired at Spottom's car. But somehow, he managed to survive and escape with an injury on his hips. After recovery, Spottom knew he had to come up with a plan because he might not be so lucky the next time. So he decided to stay low key for a while and avoid the media's attention. But that plan didn't work for long because less than a year after staying low key, Spottom was caught up in another mess. And this time he did something worse than snitching. You see, Spottom was caught driving a jet ski in a restricted area. And when a police officer asked him to get off the property, Spottom did the craziest thing. He fled with the jet ski, and the police chased after him. But unfortunately for Spottom, the authorities caught up with him, and he was arrested for fleeing from the police and reckless operation of a boat. But that's far from the other crimes Spottom has been accused of. Back in 2022, police received a 911 call from a girl who accused Spottom of domestic violence after she rejected him. When Spottom realized the girl had reported him, he fled from the scene in his car. But he didn't run for long, because he was later arrested arrested and charged with simple battery. At this point, it seemed like Spottom was addicted to committing crimes, because every year, one thing or another always led him to jail. And 2023 wasn't any different for him. In July, Spottom took police officers who were after him on a high-speed chase. During this chase, Spottom's car crashed into another vehicle and he was badly injured. But even with that, he got out of his vehicle and continued running on foot. He wasn't fast enough, and the police caught up with him and arrested him again. Spottom was charged with burglary, possession of a firearm and fleeing from police. Anywhere I go, I just can't leave without my phone. Now we in the right, it's like I'm always in the wrong. I think I'm in too deep, I told my mama to be strong. Killing the feel the opposite, she died she was on opposite. Bought a hundred and dirt, no time.